In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to measure and check a connecting rod to make sure that it's straight and also to check the uh, bore for taper and out of round. And to do this, we need to torque down the connecting rod cap. So we've got to place it in a vise, but we don't want to, to mar the surface. So we have these aluminum vise caps we we'll place on the vise. And we place this in the, when we place this in the vise, we don't want to clamp right here because when we start torquing on these bolts, we could twist the connecting rod. So we're going to place it right here over the big end of the bore, but below the separating line. And all this time we're being careful with the piston not to scratch it. Clamp that down. The torque spec on this one is 30 foot-pounds. And also, if you've noticed, we removed the bearings before we did this. Now we'll come over here to this tool, which checks the, the alignment of the rod. And there's different uh, collars that'll fit in here. We found one that fits over this the bore will fit over here. We just want to center this up and down so it's centered over that collar. We tighten this down, the collar spreads, clamps it. You want to tighten it really good and snug. So it's like this, and then on this flat surface, we'll wipe it off, make sure that it doesn't have dirt on it. We bring this jig over here and position it. In this case, I'm going to have to raise this up just a little bit. I'm going to put a rag under it so when I loosen it, it doesn't drop. Now we bring this over here, set these up so that it touches two even spots on this piston. We want to make sure that it's contacting both. And in this case, it actually, we can see that it isn't. There's a slight gap right there. And we would use our feeler gauge. So with the feeler gauge, we check and see if it'll slide in there. And then we rotate it this way. With it turned, we check the gap again. Rotate it back the other direction. Check the gap on each one again. There's no gap this time. And so this one indicates it might have a slight bend. But before we give up on it, we want to make sure that we uh, just double check our mounting. What you can do is actually take it clear off turn it over. And we'll see if the gap follows the piston as we turn the piston over. If it does, then you do know that you have a bent uh, connecting rod. If the gap doesn't follow it, you know we just had a, a problem with the way we mounted it. It wasn't mounted quite straight. No gap down there now, and no gap up here. So, we probably just had a, a problem with the way we had it mounted last time. Slight gap there, but let me just double check this. Right. So, it looks good. Oh, a slight gap there. So it might have just a little bit of twist to it. And if it's just a small amount of twist, you can actually place a bar down in here and, and just tweak it a tiny bit to try to straighten it out, as long as it's just small. Anyway, once we've checked that, 
And I probably should mention also that the top of the piston needs to be cleaned before you do this. It should be obvious, but you'll have to sand or uh, use a wire wheel a little bit to clean the carbon off the top of the piston. Once we've done that, we also, this is a great opportunity to check the diameter of the bore. We use a dial bore gauge. And just like measuring a cylinder, you'd put it in there and you'd rock it back and forth. You would compare that to the specification. You would measure it in six places so that you can uh, determine not only the bore diameter, but the taper and out of round. Anyway, that's how you check a connecting rod.